the bit that I really enjoy doing is putting in the bright red combs. They start to come alive when you do that. So alizarin crimson mixed with some cadmium red. Very thick paint, very, very little water. And we'll pop those combs in. can't put the eye or the beak in until that's dry or oh, they're run. We want that to be quite sharp. And this interesting colour here. I'll just let that dry before I put the eyes in. I will just pop the eye in using a little bit of Prussian blue and sepia mixed together. Just make sure you put it in the right place where it can look really strange and a tiny little dot. Just add a little bit of raw sienna to that mix for the beak. At the moment they look a little bit flat. I'm going to put some directional sort of movement lines in using some sepia and Prussian blue. So using the all-rounder brush, the small brush, just look at how the hens moving and the lines that you can see in it. You don't want to overdo this, but just the right amount will create movement. I'm looking at the shapes that I can see as I'm putting in these. Now we need a shadow underneath, so I'm going to use a bigger brush, the big wash brush, and some French ultramarine and some burnt umber. And I'm taking, although in the reference material, the shadows are sort of blobs under each hair and I'm just going to run that right through all of them because that will just make it look a little bit more interesting. You can see it's joining them all up. Now we need to let that dry and then we're going to add some pastel to it. All right, we need a little bit more colour in the middle of the picture. So what I'm going to do is just add some cadmium yellow. Just make a mix of that. That's a nice bright yellow. And I'm just going to run that through the middle. Well, that's lifted it quite a lot. Now I'm just going to dry that and then add some pastel. All right, we we'll just pick out the colours to match the hens and just lift them a little bit with some pastel. So mauve for mauve, blue for blue, and again, just concentrate on some of the lines. I'm just adding pastel here and there just to lift it a little bit. And give a little bit of texture. Now for the blue, as near as you can to French ultramarine. I'm just 
just going to bring back some of the highlights with a white. I'm not sure where they are, just squint and then they come out and hit you. Now we need to balance it a little bit, so I'm going to use some raw sienna around the edges and some blue. And just put a few lines of pastel. just makes an interesting texture but very very simply and I need to fix that and then I'm going to put some silver gouache over it right now just to finish off the painting I'm going to use some silver gouache and we're using a foam roller either a child's roller or one from a do-it-yourself shop dampen it first and that way you won't soak up so much of the paint and then just roll that over and we're going to roll over the pastel And you can see some of it coming through, quite thick into the corners. And you can see it really absorbs the paint. You can get through nearly a whole tube sometimes on one painting. I'll take that up to the top. I'll take that along there as well. And it gives you a much, much more interesting background. I'm letting some of the bits show through of the pastel. Anything that looks slightly harsh, I'm just rolling over and softening. If you wanted to, you could mix some gold in as well, have half silver one side and half gold the other, and that gives you an interesting effect. that dry and just see if there's anything else that we need to do to it. All right, we just need to add a few more finishing touches. I'm going to brighten up the combs a little bit with some red pastel. And that's just making it slightly brighter. I'm filling in some of the white areas that I can see. I'm just adding a little bit of red to the feet as well. We need a little bit more yellow just to give it a little bit more colour. Just bring that down here. in. And that just balances it out a little bit. I just need to put a few more highlights in. If you just squint and look at where you can see the light hitting the hands. Just 
just keep squinting. just lifting it quite a lot. And blend some of the bits in if you want to. And that's our picture complete. Now available on DVD. Try these techniques yourself at home whenever you wish. The extended version of today's workshop is now available to order on DVD from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.